Two weeks ago, we cut a turbocharger in half and it looked something like this. It actually looked exactly like that, Dan. No, it was just something like this. Turbocharger essentially uses the exhaust gas to spin this side of the turbine, which then spins this side over here, sucks air in through the suck hole, mm -hmm. compresses it, and then shoots it out of it's the blowhole. The bearing stand. Oh no. Now it'll never work properly again. We also showed you guys this turbocharger and asked for suggestions in the comments as to what we should do with it. And the most interesting idea that we saw was to use the water jet to spool up the turbo on the exhaust side. So we'll pull this housing off, spool it up with the water jet stream. And then we're going to attach a weather balloon to the blowhole. And we're just gonna see how much air does this move? How many weather balloons of air? How do you measure that? The weather balloons per second, the WBPS? Yes, that. But before we do that, we need to pay some bills so we can turn this on. I can't do that. Oh, but Raycon can, and they're the sponsor of today's video. We got our pair of Raycons about a month ago, and uh, I'll have Dan tell you about them, because he said if I touch them, he's gonna kick my- Bass? Yeah, Raycons have lots of bass. I've been using these every day since we got them. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that they're as good as AirPods, because they're actually better. And the best part is, they don't sound like shit me some of those right now. But how do I get them? And how much do they cost? And will they help compensate for my dangling stem? Not included. They cost about half the price and sound just as good as other premium audio brands. Just head over to buyraycon.com slash waterjet or click the link in the description to get early access to the Black Friday deals. Deals are so good, I'm legally not permitted to say out loud. So support Waterjet channel by going to the link in the description and buy your Raycons today. There we go. We now have a working water jet again. That's a close one. Thanks to Raycon. First step is we've got to pull this exhaust housing off, so we'll need a wrench to do that. Already done. That was quick. Where'd you get that? Huh? Extend this out and then have the balloon. Where's that red beard man when you need him? He can help us hook this up. Beardy! Just in case. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Make, don't touch this. Make this work. Figure well, it out for us. You seem to have taken some of the parts off of it. No, nah, it came like that, I swear. It came like that. Balloony and the maybe block that. No, well, I think this right here is where we'll actually try to hook up our boost gauge to see if we can actually pull any boost. See what off. kind of resistance See if it actually has. will make boost, yeah. yeah. And then obviously this will just be an intake, so as long we as that's... just leave that open. Yep, as long as that's above the water line, we should be fine there. I think what we're going to do is just put a plug on this, and we're just going to fill some oil in there so it has a little bit of oil in it. It'll it'll be enough for what we're doing. Yeah, this is actually uh, eBay's finest quality Chinese eBay turbo thing. This is a, the cheapest turbo you can hey, actually buy. Careful what you say, we love eBay. Yeah. So I really have no clue if this thing's even gonna hold up because it doesn't usually, these don't usually hold up too long on a normal application anyway. So shooting a water jet at it, eh, might work, might not. Do you want to do a quick test run then? Yeah, let's just do a quick test and see what it does. It's on low pressure. Okay, 15,000 PSI, water on. The fins all look fine. And you didn't spray any lube in it or anything? No. Oh, that was just the test <laughs> I only left for just a second when I was getting all these utensils. This is a blow-off valve, so just ignore that because we're not actually going to hook that up. But this right here, for now, all your air is going to go that way. That will so, be a little safer to feel the air than yeah, up there be, where, there, be near that. where death is. Whatever the resistance of the balloon is, that's what's going to be pushing air. back on it. Okay. Yeah. 
boost gauge, turbo, weather balloon. How fast will it fill it? I have no clue. <laughs> I'm gonna guess pretty fast though. We're gonna uh, not test the gods too much, the turbo gods here. There we go. That's enough oil. If it comes out the top, it's got enough. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, we're only regulating speed based on sound. <laughs> so when it's just high pitch enough that your ears are almost bleeding, that's when we back off. <laughs> You hear that over there? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That was that was so loud. So we didn't we didn't dare leave it on there for more than like 20, 30 seconds at a time just because this is kind of sketchy. It's because we were scared. <laughs> we we were all cowering in that corner over there. So. I, was, I was hiding behind the big brake, the two-ton brake. Like I wasn't taking any chances. I mean, this turbo compared to others is is relatively small. There yeah. are other larger ones that could move a lot more air, that you would feel a little more confident keeping at that speed sustained a little longer, right? Yeah, if we had a proper way to lubricate, I don't know, you'll kind of see in the video, we just were dropping oil in the top and just kind of letting it sit there. And then it would run out the bottom and who knows how long that oil actually lasted for. Yeah, we honestly don't really have any idea. Like, <laughs> we, we, we weren't sure if this was even gonna last. I'm surprised it lasts as long as it, like, as long as it did. Uh, I, I think that there's no heat being generated so i wonder if that kind of helped us out and made it last a little longer maybe even maybe as like a weird sense the water could have been helping lubricate things too you know just having a slick surface all things considered though little ebay turbo did pretty good fared better than i thought it would i'm i'm massively impressed like almost no marks on that impeller you can see what looks like almost kind of like a sandblasting where the stream was hitting it but we're probably going to put this turbo back <laughs> on a car 
and see what it can do. Like, see if we can actually make it work again. Maybe if we can get our hands on a bigger turbo, maybe a higher quality one, we can try this again. We can compare the, the footage side by side, see, see if we can do better than this. I think there's there's definitely some science that we could play with. You know, maybe change out, we could change out our impeller wheels. We could change out some different things and just see what it does. Also, side note, we are toying around with the idea of uh, starting a car channel with this this thing. Me, stepdad. <laughs> Let us know if you think that would be a great idea or if you've got any ideas for projects. So Anthony, he runs a uh, an auto shop. Well, it's not really an auto shop. What would you call it? I like a performance shop, kind of drift shop, custom car shop. Shop is the important part. Just, just a shop. Just a shop. <laughs> and so we want to start doing some crazy build type stuff. Just screw around, throw, you know, four big turbos on a Honda Civic, stuff like that. Yeah, just you know? interesting things. So we're toying around with that idea. If you have any suggestions or if that's something that you would want to see, let us know also down in the comments. And uh, what I'm you doing? I'm on the next video where we're going to play guitar with the water jet. Uh, and don't forget to check out our sponsor in the description. That doesn't look very good.